It's a lot more than we think. It's not only the 1.3 billion tons of food that are being wasted worldwide. An amount of food that could supply all the hungry people on Earth three times over. Our trash bins are spilling over with what we don't see. Whether north, south, east or west, food waste and losses affect everyone. In developing countries, over a third of the food spoils due to insufficient storage facilities and possibilities for transport. In industrialized nations, the same share is thrown away by commerce, the hospitality industry, and individual households. With every bit of food that lands in the trash, we're not only wasting valuable nourishment, we are also wasting the resources needed to produce the food in the first place. From water, farmland and energy, to labor and investments. By exporting foodstuffs and animal feed, countries export their scarce resources too. With each apple that's thrown away, we dispose of enough drinking water to flush a toilet seven times. Producing one single hamburger uses up 2,400 liters of water, with the meat part accounting for 2,200 liters. With every burger, we consume enough water to fill 16 bathtubs. Wasting milk and meat poses a special problem. Products from animals use up incredible quantities of water and land, in particular for irrigation and cultivation of feed. On a global scale, animal husbandry and feed production require over 70% of the agricultural land area. For example, one 200-gram beef steak uses up an area of seven square meters of farmland. That means, for every steak that spoils, we end up wasting farmland where 27 kilograms of potatoes could be grown. Everything that contributes to the scarcity of resources ultimately makes food more expensive. This affects farmland, too. Overuse takes its toll on the very foundation of agriculture. Several billion tons of fertile soil are lost each year. What's left is worn out, unproductive land. By letting less food go to waste, we regain valuable farmland necessary to feed the growing world population. Industrial food and fertilizer production, storage and logistics are energy intensive. But it requires many times that energy to process, and deep freeze food. Above and beyond this, increased livestock produces more climate-relevant gases than the transport sector worldwide. As a result, food waste ranks as a top emitter of greenhouse gases. What kind of corporate management would accept 33% in annual losses? The wide-ranging causes for food waste call for the widest variety of problem-solving approaches. 
In developing countries, the focus lies on infrastructure. In particular, easily perishable food must be able to be stored appropriately and transported rapidly. By building up logistics and ensuring a purchase guarantee, food losses can be significantly reduced. In industrialized nations, politics, business, and households need to work on doing away with often bizarre cosmetic standards for fruits and vegetables, and counterproductive, often confusing labeling. They also need to learn how to prepare and store food better. Buying only what you really need is worthwhile. Enjoying meat in moderation is healthy. If you've bought or cooked too much of something, it can be passed on or shared. It's very easy to be a food saver. <laughs>